Yo, what up, what up? It's Locker Code time again. This time it's going to be for possibly an Amethyst Kevin Durant. I've already seen the board, so it's the two corners. Good freaking luck at getting him, but if you do, cool. We're thinking Amethyst here, whatever, but the cool thing about this card is he does play shooting guard. And me being a collector, I will continue to play this game for a year after it's dead in order to get every card I, I possibly can. Because, like I said, I'm probably never going to buy 2K again. First time buyer, last time buyer, but the code is Durant, 2WLF8, 9RTH4, H9HN6. Not case sensitive. It's just when I do the capitals and stuff, it's so that you can tell what the letter is or the number. Or I guess only the letter. What the letter is on screen. So let's get into it. Not a not a super card. So for you guys with huge rosters, doesn't matter. But for collectors like me, every card matters. And it's a good budget card because of the possibility to run a shooting guard. I have not hit a corner yet. So I expect about the same today. Yeah, already straight to the middle. That's lovely. Come on, go left. Come on, left, left. Do me. No, definitely not it. Oh, there it is. No, it isn't. Oh. So 15 tokens it is. I actually preferred the 15 over the pack of cards because I never get anything out of them. Pretty disappointed, though. I would have liked to see that Kevin Durant, but uh, yeah, you know how it is. You ask and you generally never receive, but uh, let me know below what you guys get and uh, keep the grind strong. And actually, while I'm here... I have never bought packs myself, and I totally recommend you do not, because I don't care what anyone says, juiced packs is not a thing. It doesn't exist. I don't care what these big streamers say, juiced does not exist. It's RNG, which stands for Random Number Generator, and it's luck, and that's pure luck. It's what it is. It's gambling. Nothing different. Anyone who thinks it's not gambling it needs to get their head examined, because that's all it is. The thing that's most disappointing is 2K, unlike Apple, has not released what your percentage odds are, which is quite disappointing, but at the same time, too, that chance. We know what chance means. Little to none. But if they actually showed the odds, it might actually increase pack sales, but it would probably decrease them because the numbers are just astronomically low. However, if you are opening packs, obviously, Yao Ming, I want Vince Carter, so I'm hoping his prices drop to a buy now eventually, but I am broke. Um, he do obviously cool because he's a point guard. Never liked Lonzo, don't care, don't even care about him in game. Shaq, one of my favorite players of all time, I would totally love that card just because Shaq was one of the f first players I'd say I grew up really enjoying. Him and Clyde Drexler, AK 47, obviously awesome, and plus he has the coolest name to go along with, like, uh. <sighs> Who else is there? Pistol Pete Maravich. Uh, Chuck the Rifleman Pierce person. So all those cool names. Um, the Iceman. Can't think of his name at the moment. What is his name? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Oh, yes. George the Iceman Gervin. So I, I love those monikers, those nicknames. Sweet. And then we'll go back to this pack really quickly if I push the right button and don't screw up. Uh, MJ. Obviously, it's a good time to put him out because of the uh, Last Dance documentary. Which is... it's I just started watching it again because I keep falling asleep during the first episode because I put it on before bed. Terrible idea. Luol Deng. I have him. Good small forward. He's 6'8 or 6'9, so the height really helps. Ben Wallace, because he's a small forward, awesome. Plus, he was a beast back in the day. A lot of these streamers and actually people who view online now don't know anyone from like the 90s or early 2000s. They only know the people within the fast, past five years. But there was some amazing, amazing players. A lot of amazing defenders. Him, Theo Ratliff, obviously. We know who Dennis Rodman is. Uh, Michael Red's a really good budget card. John Wall, don't care about him. Don't like him in real life. Don't really care about him in the game. Steve Nash, obviously my Canadian boy. I already have the card, but if you guys can get him cheap, absolutely pick him up. But his disadvantage is he is only six foot three, which <laughs> that's an inch taller than me. And I'm pretty tall compared to the population. So you know that 85% of 
the gamers who play this game are probably under six feet tall and all the programmers are definitely under five foot seven that's why they hate tall people and they really buff everyone up Giannis, amazing card obviously especially playing point guard and he's a glitch naturally Pau Gasol, i picked him up earlier i might have overpaid at 55 grand i was gonna pay 85 though last night so good thing i waited till today i am working on almost finishing his first evolution so i can sell that one and then i'll probably keep the second one because the grind is a little bit it does take a little bit of time and um, i have too many other uh evolution cards i'm working on Jokic, obviously at point guard cool but not super fast obviously decent center larry bird i mean he's a legend I was watching... What was I watching the other day? Something with him and Magic Johnson. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, another Canadian boy. Good card. LeBron, obviously a point guard. All those flash glitch cards. Are Chris Bosh. If his value drops, I would pick him up. Not just because he was an ex-Raptor and stuff, but he's still a pretty value pink diamond. So if you can get him at a really good price, pick him up. But, I mean, he does lack a lot of badges, honestly. He's he's quite outdated, but he's still fun to play. Uh, Ray Allen, I don't have him. I might look into him if he's cheap. Same with Danny Granger. J.R. Smith, being that he's a glitch, won't be cheap. Elgoskis, I saw his prices earlier were getting cheap. He is a little bit outdated, too, now, but he is tall. Uh, I have him. We have Billups, Batum. Another really, really good pickup. Tall, 3 and D. Jermaine O'Neal. Man, oh man. The grind for him is, it's a little bit hectic to Evo him. But I've already got him to Diamond. And we'll discuss that come May. Uh, the Diamond version of Michael Jordan. I picked him up, so I definitely overpaid because I picked him up like a week and a half ago. I picked up Lamar Odom a week and a half ago, so I definitely overpaid. But I mean, still both decent cards. Ben Simmons, he is a buy now, but I, I don't like him as a player. People hate on me for it, but I honestly think he is a taller version of Markel Fultz. Neither of them can shoot. Ben Simmons, being the taller guy, definitely can defend better just because of his height, which unfortunately is totally <laughs> vouches for tall people being successful in this game too and being of, of simish nature. But yeah, I don't not a don't not a fan. Josh Smith, I haven't picked him up, but I mean, I'm pick up these are these amethysts. They're all relatively new, and they're going to be super budget cards. Like honestly, you'll get them really cheap. I'm thinking about because I don't like doing um, unlimited to run a lot of these really decent budget amethysts, so I don't get smashed by crazy squads, and then try to do a little bit of unlimited i don't know i don't think i have the talent yet but maybe some of you guys do as for the rubies yeah whatever pick them up for collector but I, yeah whatever but uh, yeah that's a wrap for the day oh no one more thing as we already know so the new vault is available and i was grinding all of yesterday trying to get that pink diamond and the uh opal and nothing i did a couple times get 10 tokens more than a couple times i got a one token and this morning i got 5000 mt man the odds rng man rng's killing me on this and then as we see on the home screen your third galaxy opal is going to be kiki vanderway and he is going to be available in triple threat online so I might go in there if it's not all fucking crazy, or as the other guys say, sweaty, which I think is just retarded, but you do you, I'll do me. But uh, yeah, that's a wrap, and uh, good luck on your ball drop, and let me know.